Hey y'all, it's Michael and for my next short story collection, I'm going to be reading American Histories by John Edgar Wideman. Uh, what I'm going to do is after each and every single short story, I'll let you guys know what my thoughts are and then at the end, I'll do a collective um, overall thoughts. Now, in February for Black History Month, I was attempting to do two short stories every single day and I'm actually right on track, which is amazing. Um, but uh, this has like a lot of short stories and um, so what I'm gonna do is you're gonna see this. It's almost gonna be like a snapchat or like a Instagram stories It's gonna go pretty fast until the end when I gather all my thoughts So the first one that I read is a prefactual Oh my god, I cannot pronounce this word a Prefactory no Prefactory, okay. Yeah, there are certain words in the English language that um, I cannot pronounce like the word Jewelry like I have to stop and think about it. I can't say it really fast So now you're gonna be like, oh, yeah, we're gonna trust your reviews. You can't even talk uh, the first one is um, a letter to uh, Mr. President. That's what it says and After serving our nation for centuries as grounds to rationalize enslavement African ancestry and colored skin remain acceptable reasons for the majority of non-colored Americans to support state-sponsored state-enforced segregation violence and exploitation. Well, it's really short, so there's no definitive thoughts on it in that regard. Let's finish reading the first uh, story on here called JB and FD. It's about John Brown and um, Frederick Douglass. And so it really, it leads up to the, uh, the fairy incident that leads to civil war. Now, since I'm going to make these clips um, incredibly short, I'm going to keep it concise and to the point. I liked it. Uh, the writing style. Oh my gosh. Oh, the writing style was so good. So good. I was like, oh, oh yeah, I like this. I like this. All right, I finished reading the next short story called Dark Matter. I liked it. The writing, the writing seems to be changing within each short story. This is the third one, but I'm really liking it. Dark Matter is about the act of like going to dinner and talking about the things happening. I finished reading the next short story called The Shape the World is In. Um, This was bizarre. It's like written, it's written very similar to the previous story. The one thing that I am writing, liking about the writing style so far is the use of these like the commas and these short sentences and like the, the commas are just like constantly running the sentences. It's actually really effective it gives this certain beat to it that i really like when i'm reading i just finished reading the short story my dead um it's basically about weidman talking about um his family members that passed away in this one in particular um about his uh brother yeah overall you know that was okay short story question mark called music um it's li literally like two pages so i don't have that much to say about it but it was written nicely so yeah on to the next one <laughs> finish reading bond it's really short it's literally like four pages but this was my favorite so far <laughs> oh my god it was so good oh it's about um this woman who's about to have a baby and just the way it's written it's so oh my god it was so poetic it ah oh. oh it was so poetic Oh, it was so good. I love. I, I really liked it. I really liked it. All right, I just finished reading the short story New Start. Um, it was really short again, like the other ones. It gets deep into about how like we start shows and like binge shows and stuff like that. Um, that was okay. So, yeah, I don't have that much to say within these past few short stories just because they are incredibly short. Um, but one thing that I am really enjoying out of all of them actually is the writing. Oh, the, his writing style is these short staccato sentences and it's it's done so well like he he, he it's it's i just like it I, I really like it all right i just finished reading the short story maps and ledgers um okay so this is kind of like a curse um reading like a collection instead of just reading each story individually and since i'm reading more of a chunk mm, i don't know how i feel about this one but um so in this one, he's talking about his family and his father who just committed a murder. And this is him recalling a lot of the moments with his grandma and his sister and his mom, things like that. The thing though is with this, his writing style, very short sentences, sometimes one word, sometimes it's the subject and the verb. So it varies. But then there are moments in here um, when like I mentioned in the previous clip where he writes like run on sentences, like a run on like long, 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 long um, sentence and like just continuously run on. And I was just like, 
So here's the thing. When I read, I it's like I get into this rhythm, right? And so when an author writes just a run-on sentence, my mind is like going, like just keeps going. And physically, like mentally, it makes me tired. Does that make sense? Like when it's a long run-on sentence, and when I mean long run I mean there's like page, like a page of just like <laughs> separated by slightly commas. But the thing is, when I am reading, this is so... this. This is so peculiar for me. But when I'm reading, it's like, it's like I just keep going. And when I reach a comma, it's like a breath. Like I take a pause and versus a period when I like a legit pause. You know what I'm saying? Like it's weird. But yeah, um, I don't know how much longer I can take the, um, the run on sentences, but that might be just also because I'm reading these stories in like, um, one right after the year the other so i just finished reading the short story writing teacher um you know what this one was pretty good this is about um i see that a lot of um the stories are about weidman himself so <laughs> yeah there's that um but this one is about him when he was teaching his class um as a professor in a writing class he is meeting with his uh, students in this way of like it's almost like a stream of consciousness like He's just randomly connecting how he's approaching the story that he's writing. But a lot of his stories, it's almost like he starts off at a set, certain point and then he would tell you one thing, then he would tell you another thing, and he would tell you another thing. So it's like this web of just thoughts uh, centered within this main point. Does that make sense? I like the way that he talks about stories and how like he approaches stories. I just finished reading Williamsburg Bridge. Um, first off, this was the longest short story in this collection yet. Well, it felt like it anyways. I had to actually read it in two sittings. Usually I like to read a short story in one sitting from the start to the beginning. I'm a, I don't think it's about Weidman himself. I think it's, it's self-referential, but I don't think it's about him himself. I'm not sure, I, don't quote me on it. This story is about an author uh, because he mentions that he's an author who's about to jump off this bridge. And this story is written very interesting. It's similar to his um, other stories, but it's in his short staccato writing style. And then throughout the whole time, he's just thinking about his life and these glimpses and moments. It's messy in a way that it, like it's broken. Like um, the sentences, the, the timeline is just he's just thinking about random stuff and whatever's coming to his mind he's thinking about it and then he's asking questions about himself like about his life how he approached life like what's him jumping off this bridge it's actually not that bad it's just it feels really long for me anyways um but it has very very similar elements to his previous stories okay, i just finished reading the short story examination um i thought it was okay it's a protagonist basically at getting exam by doctors um okay so i'm gonna say it this writing style that he has while i do enjoy it um it's like a spider web of um storytelling where it's just branching off at one at, at is a it's a point and then it's just branching off in like five different um ways everywhere uh it can get a little bit grading probably because I am reading them like one after the other and I say this because it feels like he's it's just random like it's really random and I don't know if that's just me wanting just a like straight on story that's what I want like a straight on story but I don't know I'm gonna have, I'm gonna think about it but that is something that I am noticing it's just that I think it's the way that I'm reading this collection versus like me reading one every single day it's me reading multiple a day so i just want to let you guys know but that is happening but we'll we'll see how it goes just finished reading um the short story whale it's really short like it was literally like two pages so again another short snippet it's like a it's like a um it's like a uh, vignette almost one thing i am really liking that weidman is doing is this theme of american histories where he is projecting these like histories happening within all the stories just like as snippets and vignettes and like quick short um like amount of time and i am really liking that just finished the next short story which was really short it's another vignette which is called lines oh let me turn this down <laughs> my classical music so yeah it's called lines um yeah so I don't have, it's about lines and this couple staying at a hotel
So I went downtown to the coffee shop and I read the remaining last eight um, <laughs> short stories on here. So I'm just going to do this like a quick speed round because um, a lot of these were like literally like a page or like two. So yeah, the next one after lines from the previous clip was Nat Turner Confesses. This was actually really great. Um, it's a fictionalized account of um, Nat Turner. And then in the way that it's written, it's like him flashing back about um, his life and then uh, about slavery and then his slave owner like everything about it it's it was done exceptionally well and then there, there's this moment in here that was really like uh, poetic where he um does something with the alphabet and i was like oh this is so good it was it was really good okay the next one is about empire it's like um a it was really short it's about um like modern society the next one was yellow sea this one was really weird this one was about um this movie yellow sea from korea it spoils the movie which i was like you could have gave us a spoiler alert but then it leads to um he makes connection like this is weird this like he does in a lot of these short stories where he makes connection with one thing that goes to another thing that goes to another thing that, like like lines from the center point and then um he relates it back to precious uh <laughs> the movie with up uh, by lee daniels with with Monique and them so that was it was weird um but I was like okay so you just spoiled the movies so I was like okay but it, it had some really interesting things in there I thought it was like okay not that bad the next one was Bunny and Glide um yeah it was like a page the next one was Snow it was about snow nothing really the next one was ghost dancer this one's about um a bird um yeah that, okay it was really short the next one was about a collage this one was actually interesting because i don't i don't i don't i did not get the references that it was making because it dealt with art and i don't feel as though i am um well versed in that topic but i thought you know it wasn't that bad the last one is called expectations and it's about uh mainly the main topic about it was um like his skin color um so yes i finished all right it's literally about to rain it's actually drizzling right now but let me give you guys my final thoughts on american histories by john edgar weidman um overall i actually really like this i would give it a 3.5 i rated it three stars on um goodreads first off his writing i really like his writing i can also see that it's um not for every reader because it's almost like um what is uh, maybe stream of consciousness almost but like direct short quick sentences it has a staccato rhythm to it when i'm reading it it has this poetry beat to it um especially in some of the stories his writing involves a lot of just like starting off at one point and then it's like branching out like I mentioned like just a whole bunch of lines. His writing style is one of those writing styles where you have to pay really close attention because it it can it can go into a bit of a tangent. I could I could I could agree to that. Um so some people would not like that. I know some readers um don't like that. They just like to keep it straight on, but I thought it was fun. It keeps me on my toes and I really do enjoy it as a reader. The stories itself um there are some really like there are some really good ones in here. There are some long ones. Um, like the Nat Turner one is, um, Nat Turner Confesses. I did like that one. I think that and the Williamsburg Bridge is a really, the two really good examples of his writing and what he chooses to talk about. He does talk a lot about histories, American histories, but in this way that is really poetic in his in the writing style like i mentioned before but yeah i really like it some of these are incredibly short like they're just one page or um even two pages so they're like they're more like vignettes than anything one thing that i did like within all his short stories is that there are some form of like african-american figure or someone that he um he relates to within the story and how he like weidman himself um relates to he put some sort of correlation, especially when he talks about his brother. I thought that was really interesting and like his family and the way that his um family dynamics, you can really tell. The thing though is like some of these stories, I don't know if it's, I'm sure, no, it is fiction, I'm sure, but there has to be some truth into some of them. Toting this line where it's like, it is nonfiction, like memoirish almost, because some of the stories is literally about Weidman himself. And then he woves it within these, um stories about like african-american history and uh, but overall i really did like it so if you read any of the short stories in here let me know i would love to hear your thoughts so yes until then i'll see you guys till next time bye
Alright, at the end of these vlog reviews, um, I'll let you guys know what the next sto short story collection that I am reading and that's <laughs> Heads of the Colored People by Nafisa Thompson Spires. I've been seeing this everywhere on books too, on booktube, bookstagram, I saw some of it on Twitter. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, we'll see. <laughs>